very soon after I had my head blown off, my spiritual awakening in 1990, if you wanted to meet a professional psychic in those days, then all you had to do is follow me because I was meeting them all over the place. I only went to one by choice. The rest I was meeting all the time. And one of the themes was that was given to me from those earliest days was something I gave the name to uh, with my first book called Truth Vibrations. And I called it Truth Vibrations because what I was being told in that really first year after my awakening was that there was a vibrational change coming that was going to transform and awaken from their coma the human enslaved mind and that those that were more awake were going to be affected first with this truth vibrations as i called it and eventually even people that at that time were solid gold asleep were going to start seeing the world differently and that it would have another effect which is that all that had been hidden would be put before us we would see all that had been hidden from us now in 1990 when i wrote that book there was absolutely no evidence of that and on through the 90s across the millennium but look at it now now what do we know now that we didn't know five years ago two years ago 10 years ago 20 years ago 30 years ago 34 years ago it's fantastic what we know now that we didn't know then so this truth vibration is happening and how it was explained to me was this energy is bringing to the surface all that been hidden in other words the way and the manner with which we are being controlled is going to be shown to us and my god it's being shown to us this is the thing you see all this censorship these are not attacks on humanity to express the power that this force has they are defensive manifestations to protect what already exists these demonic entities and that consciousness which is the common theme what gnostics call yelda baoth or the demiurge what christians call satan or the devil these are all different names for a state of consciousness an inverted chaotic mad state of consciousness which expresses itself through this these demonic entities they're just expressions of this just as the global cult in this reality is an expression of that ultimate and so they're already trawling our energy what they're terrified of is losing that control which means losing their energetic sustenance that's why they created the illusion of the the matrix the simulation to control and bewilder perception to generate the louche they're not censoring and trying to connect us to this electromagnetic cloud thank you elon musk that's described by silicon valley crazies like ray kurzweil at google they're not doing that to enhance their power they're doing that to protect what they already have because once we awaken and the vibration we generate reflects that awakening then their matrix starts to dismantle cuz we're holding it together not least by our belief that it's real energy flows where attention goes and so what it seems to me is that these truth vibrations are also impacting upon the astral and as they impact upon the astral this demonic force is being forced into lower and lower levels of the astral as this these truth vibrations impact and now these demonic entities are trying to get into this reality as a way of escaping the truth vibrations which are also happening in this reality but more profoundly at the moment in the astral and therefore what we're starting to see is 
the astral madness starting to impact more and more on this reality. Getting crazier and crazier. Why? Because it's getting more astral and astral and astral because of this process. So we are in this position of craziness. But this is what I say to people. It's not permanent. It's part of the clearing out of that which has controlled us. So it's going to get crazy. It's going to get real crazy. If people think they've seen crazy now, they've seen nothing yet. But what's happening is this massively part of this clearing out of this vibrational state which has held human perception in servitude all this time. And in terms of the matrix itself, you know, there's a theme which talks about we're going to create a new earth. I don't think we are. I think we're going to remove the layer of illusion that's keeping us from the original earth or what I call prime reality, which is a very different realm to the one that it's become as a simulation. The Gnostics in their Nagamari documents describe this reality of the demiurge, the Satan devil in other words, as a bad copy of prime reality. And so as this matrix is dismantled, this illusory matrix, this dream that's there because we believe in it, as it kind of fades and dismantles amid a period of absolute insanity, then what will be left is the earth, the world, the realm, the reality, really, that the matrix has been overlaying. When the illusion fades, prime reality will be where it has always been in the same space that we are experiencing. And as that comes through and the matrix dismantles and fades, it will appear, certainly at first, that a new earth, a new reality is appearing, but it's not new. It's the reality we come from, and it's the reality we'll ultimately go back to. But there's going to be a lot of craziness before that happens.